What's up, Leos? This is Evolving Wisdom, and yes, honey, I'm still here evolving, okay? All right, you guys, I'm going to jump into your mid-June reading here. I'm going to read from these tarot cards. I've just been um, playing with them for about two months um, now, so I'm still channeling the energy. I do not do um, these cards the traditional way. I do not read from the book. I go by my intuition and whatever the picture is um, giving to me and what my spirits are telling me, okay? So don't cruci crucify me, guys. I am still learning these um, cards, but I am really drawn to these cards and I want to um, work with them more, okay? Because I'm so used to working with my playing cards here. Sometimes change is good. Even though Taurus is, we hate changes. But okay, Leos, let's get into your reading here. What information do you have for my Leos here? Right, what information do you have for my Leos here? Oh, please like, share, and subscribe, Leos, okay? If you want any information about personal readings or um, personal coaching, please look in the description box for that information. All right, what information do my Leos need to know? Ooh, we are not going on, Leos. Okay, Leos, so <clears throat> this Knight of Pentacles, it's, it's, it's almost like to me, this someone is wanting someone wants to offer you something. There is uh, someone, but it's, it, to me, this is like it's not a lot that they're offering you. Okay, like who wants just this one coin? It's like you you don't have more here. You know, it's like someone is coming towards you and they're offering you something, or you can look at this as you have something to offer others. Okay, but there's some poverty. There's some depression or right, some um. This is like a poverty um, type of card um, lacking here. Look at the cups. They're empty here. Look at the sorrow with this man. And then the young boy is coming in like this, like his father. Okay. And it's like he's bringing in a cup here and it's empty too. And it's, it's worry, it's stress, it's disappointments. Okay. And then you have this cat, the cat even over here trying to get the, the fish, trying to get in the um, goldfish usually represents abundance, okay? And it's like this cat is trying to get this, but it's not coming in. And it's almost too as if like the cat is uh, resulting to having to eat the fish because there's no other food for this cat to eat, okay? So it's just a lot of um, poverty energy that's going on here, worries and burdens, okay? And you even have the, the, the black candle um, that is... I never noticed that's up there, okay? So there's some dark energy here, okay? You have the water. Mm. Okay, let's get one more card here, Leos. What information do my Leos need to know here? Okay, you guys. Um, <clears throat> okay, this can represent uh, many stories, okay? So I'm going to give two stories here. The first story, um, to me, could represent someone coming in that is um, up to no good, the devil, because this is the devil card, okay? And maybe offering you um, all these glitz and these glamour of things or um, having their showing that their personality is this um, kind-hearted person and everything, but they're really the devil, okay? Or this also can be you have some addictions, okay, that you that you need to get under control, okay? As you can see that, um, you know, this person is coming in, this devil is coming in offering candy, money, and, you know, um, all the good things. And, and that can be anything, you know, it can be addictions, drugs, drugs are not the only thing that can be addiction. It could be food, it can be sex, it can be smoking, it can be, it could just, it can be any um, thing, okay? So if this resonates with you guys, um, you know, let it fly there, okay? All right, let's get my babies out here. Let's get my big boys, my playing cards. Woo. Excuse me, Leos. <clears throat> All right, let's channel you guys' energy here, Leos. Let's see what's going on with you all, okay? Okay, what information do my Leos need to know? Okay, what information do my Leos need to know? Okay. Okay, so yeah, that card that the guy was on the I don't know why these cards are flipping everywhere. They're, 
have this gloss over them. It makes them kind of slippery, but I love these cards, though. Okay, so anyways, um, you guys have some uh, a new lover or someone coming in here, someone who's offering you some bullshit. Like I was saying um, earlier about this card, it's like someone was coming in offering you something, but to me, it's like, I don't want just that one little stubby gold coin, you know, especially my Leos, you know, we... I'm not a Leo, I'm sorry. I have a Leo in my chart, but I don't really resonate too much with that um, this energy. But, um, yeah, like Leos, like, that's all you're going to offer them is just that. That's all you have. Okay, so <clears throat> this person can also be that devil um, that I was resonating with earlier, too, here. Okay, but let's pick up more energy. There's someone new coming into your life. There is some burden surrounding this new person that's coming in here. You have a jack of diamonds here around you um, also, too. Somebody who is... Um, could be very reliable type of energy, but um, could also be somebody you need to be careful of, okay? You have some male energy around you. Now, this Jack of Cups here um, is someone who's like um, very um, dishonest type of energy, okay? There is some burden surrounding someone new that has just entered your life, okay, or that is coming in, okay? This is someone who's inter interested into you in, in you romantically, okay? All right, let's get some more energy around my Leos. What's going on with my Leos here? Yeah, there is some bur big burden surrounding this new person here. You guys have some, um, this person has some infidelity going on. Um, they got, like, this person has a lot of energy that they're bringing into you that is disrupting what, um, just, is it disrupting your world here, Okay. Okay, well you, have, you guys have a little finances coming in, some unexpected money coming in here in the end of June into July here, okay? Yeah, you, have, you guys have a lot of money coming in here. You have the 10 of, okay, you have guys have jealous energy around you, okay? Let's, let's get another spread. You guys, let me pick up on this um, energy because you guys got a lot of shit going on with this new person that's coming in, okay? You have this devil coming in. You have this devil, devil coming into you. Burdens. Burdens. You have burdens surrounding separating from a, 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 um, a lover. Okay? Yep. Your money is coming in here. You have... You guys got a lot of finances coming in here in the middle... Um, the end of June into July. You guys... Whatever you guys are doing, stay focused on that because it's coming in for you guys. Okay? Okay, but you guys got um, somebody new coming around, you guys. I think you guys are taking yourself, taking this energy very slow. But there is a king of hearts that is around you guys um, that really cares about you. Okay, let's get some more information. What information do you want to give to my Leos? What information do you want to give to my Leo? This king of diamonds here. Okay, whoever this um, male energy or female energy, and I'm picking up male energy Okay, I'm soon feel like I'm talking to a woman here, but there is somebody who is maybe they have money or they have some type of they hold some type of um, power or maybe even over you or they hold power with their they have money. Okay, they have finances and I don't know if they they have been spoiling you, um, Leo's, but with their money. Okay, but yeah, they are bringing some type of burdens towards you. <sighs> Yeah, it's a lot of disappointments and separation. There is some domestic energy coming in. There is some domestic. And I don't even get this as the legal issues. It could be. If that resonates with you guys, then that's what that energy is. But I guess someone is like, this person is violent, okay? This person is violent. And they're definitely going to be violent once they see that you have, that you are trying to move on from them, okay? So this is a very dangerous type of energy. This, this person is like mentally, they have some mental issues when it comes to like emotions, okay? Okay, they can't handle some shit happened to them when they were younger. Okay, they're coming in very narcissistic type of energy. Okay, very narcissistic um, energy. Whew. Trying to get out that one, that energy, because that is some. You guys are dealing with the fucking devil here. That's why that devil card came out. Okay, yeah, 
You guys got your money coming in. There is something coming towards you. There is burdens coming towards you guys. You guys be careful. You have some jealous energy around you, okay? Whoever this new lover is, you guys, I hope you guys have not got too deep into it with this person, okay? Because they, the spirits do not agree with this person, okay? Anybody who is trying to just rush in with um like to get jump into a relationship with you within a month even two months okay even maybe even three months without you really getting to know them spending some time together okay seeing how their um attitude and their personality is okay give it some time you guys before you jump into any relationship give it at least i say 30 days of people you will start seeing the red flags with the motherfucker okay they'll start showing them their true self to you guys okay anybody who's just trying to rush into a relationship with you they not trying to and they're not trying to get to know you like deeply know you spend some time spend some energy on you or whatever then you know that they, they that's most likely a fuck boy or a fuck girl okay and you guys need to be careful with this energy because you're you're fucking around with the devil here okay and emotionally or whatever you guys somebody putting that ooh we up on this person and you're 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 gonna find out that they um some shit about them and you're gonna try to separate from them and you're gonna see you're gonna see what's really up who they really are or maybe you're trying to do that now um leos excuse me all right leos yeah let's get these this energy okay what information do you have for my leos <clears throat> Be okay. Then you have the four, um, the four of summers here. It says being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking somewhere or something for granted. This contentment with life. Oh, Leos, what's going on with my Leos? Why, why are you guys not really seeing the beauty that you have around you? Okay. Are you guys sad here about love here? Or do you not see? It's someone around you guys that really um, cares about you guys. There is a um, some male energy or female energy around you all who... It, <clears throat> I'm trying to pick up on their energy, but they really care about you guys. Okay? And that came out in your cards, okay? You have a romantic, like I said, or you have a romantic partner um, that's coming in. You have someone that's coming in, but you have someone there, you have somebody in your life now, okay, that really cares about you, okay? Bring fun into everything you do, Leo. You guys need to get out. You guys are juggling a lot of um, priorities, okay? You guys need to really get out here and just, like, have some fun or just any type of thing you're doing, um, whether it's working. Like, bring some fun into it. Laugh, you know, get, get around, meet people, okay? Get around, get outside, on your job like try to meet people and get to know people that's like you never know who you may meet um just by talking to people okay be practical in respect to how you perceive the ability to make anything more beautiful here pisces oh did i say pisces somebody messing with the pisces i'm sorry leos but yeah that just came out pisces somebody is dealing with a pisces the will Okay, you guys have everything coming full circle here, okay? Delays are over, Leos. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new a new beginning, okay? You guys have something, some energy that's trying to come in for you guys, but you guys are failing to see the reality of it, okay? You guys are failing to see the beauty of things, okay? And this, this, this situation is something that you all are attracting into your life. It's a lesson that you all have to go through, okay? And there is something that you keep attracting uh, out of relationship, okay? There's something, it's something about the, this person's personality or these people that you have in the past have attracted that you continue to, like, maybe the, the bad boy or bad girl type maybe the money who got money and maybe no fucking personality or they're narciss narcissistic okay there's something leo's prosperity the universe is pouring its abundance at around you they are pouring their abundance doors are being open so be open to receive it okay 
Abundance does not always have to be um, finances. There can, it can be just bringing good family and friends and lovers around you, okay? You guys, don't get yourself so much in a run about this relationship or this person that's coming in if you try to. I, I get the feeling that this person is there, okay? And, and um, maybe y'all haven't got deep into the relationship yet or this person is going to be coming in soon okay but you guys need to understand the universe is pouring out its abundance out to you okay and you need to be open to receiving it you because you're you're failing to see the good shit that's around you you guys are in this funk mood okay some of you oh, look at this the medicine woman some of you guys are spiritual healers and i've said this before but leos you guys are very spiritually spirit deeply spiritually connected to the universe to the the um the womb mother, okay? The moon, the womb, the healer. You guys are some, some healers, okay? Someone is sitting on their gifts, okay? Someone is sitting on their gifts and not making any moves. And you guys need to understand, you are channeling a divine healing powers. You have divine healing powers. Okay. Inner wisdom. Leos, someone needs to use their inner wisdom here, okay? You know what to do. Trust your inner wis wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Let's get let's get it. Come on, Leos. Get out of that funk. You guys got you got people who are waiting on you. Some of you guys have healing powers, and the, the universe is pushing you towards this energy because People need you. There's people out here who need that healing. Whatever you're offering, whatever gifts that you have, there's people who need this, okay? And you guys need to get, get it and, and, and stop doubting yourself, okay? Okay, let's, let's get some more information here for my Leos. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered, Leos. Stop worrying. Stop worrying, Leos. It's all going to work out. Like, the universe hear you. They hear your cries. They hear your depression. They hear your sorrow. They hear what you want. You just have to put that energy out there. You have to believe in yourself, okay? You have to take that. You have to take that energy that you have and actually put it forth, okay? You have to do something about it. You can't just sit on it, okay, Leos? You can't just sit um, around in sorrow, okay? It's a time and a place for everything. And right now, we are in, Pluto is in Capricorn right now. And Capricorn, that energy, first of all, Pluto is about karmic energy, okay? Anything, any rap business that you need to be taking care of that you used to um, throw off before, no. It's not, it's coming back around and it's time to get to business. Capricorn is all about their business. It's all about making sure shit is um, put in its right place and, and organized and, um, researching and understanding what they need to do so they can put great products or great energy out there when it comes to their business capricorns are all about their business and about their family okay leos that is your june that is your mid-june reading you guys stay focused stay grounded get out here in nature put some fun into anything you're doing be watchful of any new person that's coming into your life okay that sends up red flags get to know people before you just jump into it and if there's anyone who's coming into your life or is in your life now who's y'all just rushed into a relationship be weary of that okay okay because this person is not playing with it all in the head leos and i say this and i say it again whoever you're dealing with they ain't playing with it all in the head okay emotionally they're like disconnected okay all right, Leos, that is done. I am done with them. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I need to say. All right, Leos, I am evolving wisdom. And yes, I am here still evolving. All right.